fuel is just flowing down through the rings. What's going on, Pete? The float must be stuck on this carburetor. And what's it doing? It's filling up the crankcase with gas. So we went to check the oil on the Volkswagen and it was really full. Like, overflowing full. So when Pete checked the, after emptying it out, Pete checked the dipstick and it was thin, like super thin. So fuel's getting into the engine somehow. We're gonna drive to the grocery store, but not today. <laughs> the bus is broke down. Thank you to Ann for taking us to the grocery store that day. Uh, we decided we would just order a new carburetor for the bus and save the old carburetor for when we get back to Florida and we'll rebuild it back there and then we'll have a spare carburetor. Plus, we could get back to the boat. that we're supposed to go is over there. Right now we're going this way. And we're gonna go this way a little while. Um, we're passing this, there's a green marker that we're passing right now out there. Somewhere. And then once we pass that, we're gonna come up almost to this island over here and then tack. And then we'll be kind of on our angle, not really. We'll have to tack no, a few times. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We'll have to do another one, or maybe we'll get a little closer. Yeah, we'll see how it goes once we get up there, what we can do. done a series of tacks out here. We started here, coming out of here, and then tacked out here, and then had to tack again, and so far we're here. Almost to here. That's our coordinate, that's about where we are right there. So once we get to here, we hope that maybe we can get a good angle of sail and tack out here. And then that will lead us to a good position where we can get out far enough to tack again and maybe make it into Buckle Harbor. So that is what we're hoping. We're going to try it and see. Okay, so we're under a decision now because <laughs> we got our sails up, but the only problem is um, we could sail into this area, but it's a landmine of lobster buoys everywhere. And if we have to turn on the motor in an emergency in this tight little narrow channel, we also got to watch for all these lobster buoys. So I think we're going to just drop everything and turn the motor on out here. Our arrival into Buckle Harbor was met with the sweet sounds of sea buoys. <laughs> Our arrival into Buckle Island.
Okay, today is just a motorboat ride. There's really no wind at all. So we're coming out of Buckle Harbor. We went through this tight little York Narrows here. And I mismarked us. We actually went on this side of the green. It was kind of scary coming through here. But anyways, we got through. Uh, we're gonna be coming through this Casco Passage here and then coming around the top of the island. I've just kind of marked this to figure out what our compass course headings are. And then this is gonna be our heading down here into French Borough on Long Island. Our arrival into French Borough was met with many friendly locals, along with one wooden lobster boat that came up alongside us and he said if God had wanted us to have fiberglass boats, he would have made fiberglass trees. Trail sticks. Layla found this bone on the beach. It was her prized possession to chew on. Hey. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nice island. <laughs> it's always nice to get off the boat and explore an island and see it for its beauty and to meet its people and to stretch your legs too after being aboard for a while. Looks like California almost. Wow. There's a waterfall over here. All right, here's the surf shack. We found it. Got its own little fire pit. We hiked a total of six miles, and we decided to have lunch right here on this beach. the walk and the person who enjoyed it the most 